welcome. So here I have negative 13 pi over 6. And what I want to do is show you how to sketch the angle. So when, when graphing uh, or sketching an angle, right? because it's not going to be exact. Um, I'll try to do my best. But it's not going to be an exact uh, measurement here. Um, what we notice is, again, I see this is negative. So I automatically remind, remind myself, all right, I got to make sure I tell the students that if we have an array, remember we always start in our initial point, because we're always going to be graphing in standard form. Not always going to be graphing, but that's going to be our standard way of, of showing these angles. If I rotate my rays um, in, in counterclockwise, that's positive. If I rotate them clockwise, that's going to be negative. So I'm going to be rotating my ray in the negative direction. Now, what we need to talk about then is, again, well, what is this halfway around a circle measurement in radians? And remember, that's going to be a measurement of pi radians. And it's going to be just in the negative direction. But if I rotate a ray from here to here, the, how far the distance I've traveled in as far as angle terms has been pi. Because that's the distance of my radius wrapped around my circle is goes around pi times. So then all the way around a circle would be a, what we call a revolution and in a distance of 2 pi. However, we notice that we have a, forget about the negative for a second, but you guys can see we have my angle is 13 pi over 6. That is, 13 pi over 6 is an improper fraction, right? It's greater than the whole. It's greater than pi, and it's also greater than 2 pi. Well, how do I know that? Well, let's go back to the negative, because remember, we're going to be going in our negative direction. What I like to do is, when I'm trying to sketch an angle, and especially when I have a denominator of 6, 3, or 4, I rewrite my pi as terms of that denominator, but still as the whole. So pi is the same thing as 6 pi over 6. But I like 6 pi over 6 because what that tells me is I can now break this up into parts. Even though I have 6 pi over 6, you can say, well, that's 1 pi over 6, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi over 6. And then I can do that in the same for my other, part of, other half of my circle. So therefore, when I keep on adding up, I notice that 2 pi is equivalent to 12 pi over 6, right? And just do 12 divided by 6, you get 2, right? So it's still the exact same thing. But now we have this in this negative direction. So that means I'm going to go rotate my rays here in the negative direction. So if I go all the way around, that's negative 12 pi over 6. Now I just need to go one more pi or one more portion down, or part, to get me to negative 13 pi over 6. So therefore, if I start with my initial side here, rotate my angle all the way around one revolution, and then go one more down, that will be my terminal side for my angle, negative 13 pi over 6. Thanks.